This Octopus Deploy Getting Started video covers downloading the installer, installing the Octopus server, and configuring your first Octopus Deploy instance. The first step is to download the installer. You can download the installer by navigating to octopus.com and then to the Downloads page under the Resources menu. The latest version of Octopus is available for download at the top of the page. To download a previous version of Octopus, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the Previous Downloads link. Here you can find the specific version of Octopus Deploy that you want to install. Once you've found the version that you want to install, click on it to navigate to its Downloads page. Now you can download the installer for that version of Octopus Deploy. When you have your installer, you can run it to start the installation. The installer will ask you to accept the license agreement and where to install the software. Once the installation is done, the Octopus Manager will open and you can start configuring your first instance. Now that the Octopus Manager is open, click on the Get Started button to start the configuration wizard. The first step is to provide a license key. If you don't have a license key yet, you can get a free one for up to 10 targets at octopus.com. Once you have the key, paste the XML into the text area and click the Next button to continue. Next up is the Octopus Home Directory. This is where the Octopus configuration files, deployment packages, and other settings are stored. Now you need to choose what account the Octopus server will run as. The default is the local system account, but you can override this and choose a custom domain account instead. Octopus Deploy requires a SQL Server database to store most of its information. SQL Server Express is a great option if you're setting up Octopus as a proof of concept. Provide the server name and the authentication method. When running Octopus's local system, Windows authentication can only be used if the SQL Server instance is hosted on the same machine. To host SQL Server remotely, use SQL Server authentication or run the service as a custom account. Next, provide the database name. You can choose an existing, empty database, or enter the name of a database that doesn't exist yet and let Octopus create the database for you. On the Web Portal tab, you can customize the HTTP listen port and the virtual directory used by the web interface. You can configure additional bindings for the web interface later. Lastly, configure your authentication method and admin user. The two options available at this point are usernames and passwords stored in Octopus or Active Directory authentication. You can add Active Directory or other authentication methods later, so don't worry if you're not quite ready for that yet. You can choose usernames and passwords stored in Octopus for now, and then enter the username, email, and password for the administrator account. You've entered all the information needed. Before you click that green Install button, I want to draw your attention to the Show Script link. This will show you the commands that the manager will run to install and configure your Octopus instance. This is helpful for learning Octopus and seeing how you can automate this process in the future. But it's not required, so close that window and click the green Install button to kick things off. The output of those commands will appear in the box below the button so that you can monitor the status of the installation. Now you can use the manager to manage your instance, including the Windows service and its storage. Click the Open in Browser button to access your web portal. Once it's loaded, enter your administrator username and password to log in. There's your brand new Octopus instance. Check out our other Getting Started videos to learn how to set up and deploy your first project. Here are some recommendations for installing Octopus Server. Starting with Octopus 2020.2, you'll need to install Octopus Server on Windows 2012 R2 or higher, and host the database on SQL Server 2017 or higher. Get your license key ahead of time. You can get a free license key at octopus.com. If you don't have a SQL Server database available, install SQL Server Express on the same machine hosting Octopus. Thanks for watching, and happy deployments.